Good morning everyone. Welcome to the online session of social science. Today we are going to study civics and today we will see how laws are made and where such laws are made. You already know that the supreme authority which is responsible for making laws for the country is our parliament and laws are made in the parliament. Okay, so our parliament makes laws for the whole country. It is the supreme authority in the country. It has the power to legislate on all subjects that are under the jurisdiction of the central government. It can enact new laws or change the existing ones. It means new laws can be made and existing laws can be changed, modifications are done. So mainly there are two types of bills that is ordinary bills and money bills. So first of all we will see what is a bill. The proposal for a law is called a bill. Okay, for any law a proposal is made and that is called a bill. The proposal for a law is called a bill. And they are of two types, money bill and ordinary bills. If it is related with income or expenditure, it is called money bill. If it is not related with income or expenditure, that can be called as ordinary bill. So we are going to study these two bills, that is money bill and ordinary bill in detail. So first of all, ordinary bills. From the name itself, you can understand the bills other than money bills are called as ordinary bills. These bills can be introduced in any house of the parliament, either in Lok Sabha or Ra Sabha. They can be introduced by either a minister of the government or any other private member of the house. Every ordinary bill that is introduced has to go through the following three readings in each house. It means three readings will be there for passing the bill. Okay, and these three readings will take place in both the houses, whether it is Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. So we, now we are looking for ordinary bills. First reading, it is an introductory stage. At this stage, the concerned minister or a private member asks for the permission of the house to introduce the bill. It means prior permission has to be taken before introducing the bill in the house. There is no debate at this stage. Copies of the bill are given to the members. Okay, Various members receive the copies of the bill. The minister or any member who introduces the bill gives a general speech explaining the purpose of the bill. So these things are only done in the first reading or first stage. Now after that comes the second reading or second stage. At this stage, first of all, a general discussion is held. Then a clause by clause discussion takes place. The members who support the bill explain why the bill is important and necessary. The members who oppose it criticize the bill. The members can also suggest changes in the bill. Some of these changes can be accepted by the house. This was the second reading. Now we will see what happens in the third reading. And last reading. At this stage, the bill is moved for final approval. The bill as a whole is finally discussed and put to vote. Now voting is done. If the majority of the MPs are in its favor, it means the bill is passed. For example, if 500 members are present in the house and 251, that is more than 50%, members are in favor of and 259 that is less than 50 percent are against the bill then the bill is said to have been passed by a simple majority simple majority means it has been passed by more than 50 percent of votes if it is passed in one house it is sent to the other house the bill goes through the same procedure in the house also in other house also when both the Lok Sabha and the Raj Sabha pass the bill it is sent to the president for his or her signature and when the president signs on it, it becomes a law. Now we have seen about ordinary bills, how it becomes a law. Now we will see about money bills. Okay, Some changes are there. Any bill relating to income 
एंड एक्सपेंडिचर इज कॉल्ड अ मनी बिल अ मनी बिल इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द लोकसभा सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हेयर इन ऑर्डिनरी बिल्स वी हैव सीन दैट इट कैन बी प्रजेंटेड इन एनी ऑफ द हाउस विद लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा बट एज फार एज मनी बिल्स आर कंसर्न इट कैनॉट बी प्रजेंटेड इन राज्यसभा इट शुड बी प्रजेंटेड ओनली इन लोकसभा वन इट इज पास इन लोकसभा इट इज सेंट टू राज्यसभा इन दिस वे आई स्पेशल प्रोसीजर इज एडोप्टेड फॉर इट a money bill cannot be introduced without the consent of the president of india when the money bill is passed in lok sabha it is sent to rajya sabha for its recommendations it is mandatory for the rajya sabha to return the bill with its recommendations within 14 days from the date of receipt if it does not do so the bill is considered to be passed by both the houses the bill is then sent to the president for his or her assent remarkably whether a bill is a money bill or not is decided by the speaker of the lok sabha it means the speaker of the lok sabha will be responsible for deciding whether a particular bill is money bill or not so this is how an ordinary bill passes through various stages in various houses and how it becomes a law after the signature of the president so in our previous classes we have already seen what is an amendment any change in the constitution is called an amendment so the bill to amend or make changes in the constitution requires a special majority in the parliament so it means for making a bill into a law what is required simple majority but here for amendment what is required special majority see what happens in special majority generally to make changes in the constitution a two thirds majority of the parliament is necessary remember the number two third in our country according to our constitution there should be no arbitrary exercise of power in independent india all persons in independent india are equal before the law there is no discrimination as far as laws are concerned whether rich or poor educated or uneducated black or white or anyone the law cannot discriminate between persons on the basis of their religion caste gender education or anything that is all laws will apply equally to all citizens of the country no one can be above the law all the citizens irrespective of anything are equal according to the law according to the constitution so the parliament makes laws according to the needs and demands of the people the role of citizens is crucial in helping the parliament in framing different concerns of the people into laws at every stage of the legislative procedure the voice of the citizens is a crucial element okay so that's all for today everyone thank you